But not quite sure that I like that color. Uh oh, my door's open, so we may hear all the traffic on the street. I live on a street where we're almost out of town, so all those big trucks, they always want to use up extra gas in their diesel trucks to make it out of town. They want us to hear the, the roar of their engines, I guess. But it's such a beautiful day, you'll probably hear motorcycles too, which sometimes they're just as loud. I haven't been on here and painted for a while. I should be um, working on one of those Highland cows. I've got to get some more flowers painted on one. All right. Went to a garage sale and bought a really nice shelf today. But the darn thing's too tall, so I don't know where I'm going to put it. Let me raise this up and see who's jumping on. Hi, Janet. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Lisa. And Donna and Cindy. Hi, Marianne. So we're going to do this, but I forgot to unwrap the canvases when we were live a little bit ago. So if you were with me, you saw the big pink fur bedspread. If you didn't see it, go back and watch the replay I just did a couple hours ago. Love the bedspread. My granddaughter, I, I FaceTimed her and said, look, and she's, they just moved and her bed's not put up yet. So she's telling her mom, put the bed up. I'm ready for grandma to bring me my new uh, fur comforter. Hi, Judy. And um, somebody messaged and said it was probably microfiber. And that is kind of what it feels like. Hi, Leslie. I know the bedspread was so pretty. But then, you know, I saw those four canvases and I was like, I don't remember ordering any more Highland cows. I got enough of them, but there weren't the Highland cows. So this is what I'm going to do for her walls. Look at the little cat. Isn't that so cute? Oh, she loves cats. And so let's see the different designs because I didn't open all of them. And I hope they're all different, but so we've got that color cat. So I'm going to frame them, put a little bit of glitter on them, hang them in her room. And then we have the striped. Oh, I bet we can add to those flowers. You want to try that? So there's two. And I got two more. And I just had them in my hands and placed them somewhere out of my way. And I just blame my husband because he came and got me all off kilter as to what I was doing. Anyway, anyway, there's a set of four cat canvases. They knew, do not come on a canvas. When you get them, they are like this. But I probably won't even, I don't, I have to measure it. And see if you can buy canvases this size. Otherwise, it's just for her bedroom. I mean, go down to Dollar Tree and get some of that, not poster board, but the, the uh, thicker board and that's what I'm going to put on it. I know. Let's diamond dust one and see how it looks. Alright. I can do that. And do you see these? It is a, an adapter. You know how you can download all the things. Foam board. Foam cord. Yeah. How you can um download on your computer well this one's made for your phone so hopefully it'll get all my pictures because there's about 1800 pictures and videos on my phone that need to come off so we'll do that 
All right, foam board, hi, Marcy. Now we got my husband. Oh, he's just taking the tiller out to Brittany's. We're good. I thought he was going to do something in the yard. It's getting hot in here, so. All right. Get this out of my way. I really think that every piece of lawn equipment needs to come with mufflers. I swear. Everyone who mows around us has the loudest lawn mowers. I guess none of them realize that I'm live. <laughs> Maybe I need a flashing neon sign over my building that says, please don't mow. And my husband's always like, do you think you own the town or what? I think I'm going to add in a little bit of paint to those flowers. Went to a garage sale today and got a really nice shelf. It's made out of one by tens and she's got the corrugated metal behind it. But I don't have any room for it. I got room for it, but you know what? Okay, so does this make because it didn't make sense to me, but it makes sense to my husband, is the space that I want to put it covers one of my out my electrical outlets. And he's like, I can't cover an electrical outlet. And it's like, I haven't put the, the wall board up yet. So can you move that electrical box over to the other side? And then we'll be good. I didn't think he liked that idea too well. <laughs> He wasn't a fan of moving. Of course, that one's already wired too, but it's like I would move, move one. But so now I got to find a different place for my shelf because it's 84 inches, and right in here beside me, up to the beams that are running, it's only 82 inches. So I'm two inches above. Ah, but I saw the underneath. I think he could easily uh, saw that down. I don't think he saw the underneath. He carried it by the top. Anyway, I'll have to go back and do that. All right, so you see the flowers how they are now. We, I don't know if they're, it's going to work, but we're just going to add some more color to them. I mean, just stay with the pink. They may end up looking better the first way, but we're just going to try. Give it a little bit more of a handmade look here. And I am really, I'm sitting here playing, but I'm kind of, um, what do you call that? When you're kind of procrastinating because you've got a lot of work to do, but you don't want to do your work, so you're going to sit here and, and play for a little bit before you get started. That's kind of what I'm doing. Kind of ignoring all the things on my to-do list today. And it's just, let's just play time for a while. That sounds good to me. All right, let's go over. So, I mean, these are really pretty. This isn't like you would need to, if you order anything like this. I got the Highland Cows too that I'm in go over a little bit it's just uh just because because they are very pretty that's one thing about all these and you know but it's no different than shopping at Hobby Lobby they got the same stuff you're just basically eliminating the middleman is all that's going on My son-in-law hates Timu because of all the packages that are being delivered. And then my husband comes in yesterday and he says, what are you doing throwing trash in the neighbor's trash can? Like, what the heck are you talking about? He's, they got an orange bag hanging out. I'm like, that's not my orange bag. My orange bags are here. Who else would have orange bags? I know that's your bag. I, I would have taken out the trash. All of this trash would have been gone. 
So it was the neighbor girl had ordered Timu as well. My son-in-law, who's a mail carrier, said that he is so tired of orange bags. So before I get much more hate mail over me supporting China or whatever, everybody's doing it. Everybody shops Walmart. Everybody shops Hobby Lobby. We all do it. And when I was reading today's newspaper here in our little hometown, we live in the poorest county in the whole state of Illinois. The very poorest, very bottom, because we're also a very small county. Do you know how many jobs openings are in our newspaper? They're having a job fair for probably 20 different factories in our area that can't get help, including the Hershey's Candy Factory that at one time was paying $25 an hour. They can't find workers. So the people who say support American workers, well, don't know where those American workers are because they're not in our town very much. So anyway. It's unfortunate that we do. Remember back in, what was it, the 90s when Kathy Lee was having clothing made in China? And the whole, I mean, it's bad. I would hate to be living in China and be in those factories. But ugh, it was a big controversy then. So anyway, I don't think... I'm pretty sure all those big brand new TVs that people are buying mm, aren't really being made in America too much. And the cars you drive and... Aw, it's cute. I think if I had to wait to buy American, I'd starve to death. I mean, give him a little bit of a pinker nose. And his nose is going to have a bit of diamond dust on it. Let's see if we can make some bread. Oh, just going to try to take that deep red, a little bit of black, and let's go in and add in our center. Oops, no black. And I bet bought a milk can. <laughs> My husband's like, if I would have bought you that milk can, you'd have thrown a fit because I'm always saying, don't buy me no more stuff to paint. But it's like a half size gas can or milk can. It's cute. I don't know what I'll do with it. So I told him to put it in our auction, <laughs> auction pile. I only gave five bucks for it. How do you pass up a, a milk can for $5? It's hard to do, but I don't ship anymore very seldom. If, I mean, I don't paint very big items because I can't ship them. And this one's heavy and it's not as big as a milk can, but it still costs somebody quite a bit to ship it. So just going to add a few little... Brown highlight sh shading in here. So to, oh, you know what? I need this afternoon, because I got so much work to do. 
I need to go through and do a couple of those Highland Cow pictures that I've got because this week on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace, we're going to be switching up our Buy It Now items to where we post most of them at noon, Monday through Friday, because, you know, sometimes we get in there and people forget to look. And if we establish a routine, then people are more um, apt to go in and see instead of, you know, sometimes it's, you don't know when it posts, so you don't go look and then good stuff gets by you. I know it does me all the time. So if we have a certain time to go in and look, then I'll remember to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint up a couple of things and put it over there. At noon. I'd like to do it mon at least Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I got to head out of town Saturday. In fact, that's what I need to be doing is looking for plane tickets or figuring out how I'm getting to North Carolina. Because that's another thing I'm not excited about doing. Wanting more of a deeper red than that, or a brighter red. I'll go that one. Right here. Now, if you sat me, told me to sit down and make out a new Timu order, then I would have no problems doing that. But it's not exciting to sit and figure out what time, because now, you know, at this point, I mean, get some really crappy flight times. It'll be like early morning, late night. And I hate to drive at night. I guess I need to tell my husband yet that I'm going. Oh, man. I'm mean, like, why do you wait till the last minute? Hmm. Pretty much you got to take care of yourself for a week. That's that's about it. Now we'll let those dry up and then we'll add a little bit of, um, well, we got to go over and add some more white to them, but we're going to let those dry up. Okay, so let's paint an eagle. Um, ah, thank you, Karen. Karen, did you see the canvases? Did you get any of those? Yay! Roseanne! Oh, I'll, where's your page at? Things and stuff with Roseanne. I'll have to go back and watch yours. I always like seeing what other people got. Um, just, you know, because you never know when you order that stuff. Um, oh, a pink collar. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, that would be cute. And his eyes. I could redo his eyes. Yes, they need to make it more affordable, but gosh, you, you guys know, it, there's nobody who works. It's, it's amazing. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, you know, I'm not saying nobody works, but we got a lot of jobs around here. It's not like, you know, before COVID when you could say, oh, there's no jobs. You know, you could go to Terre Haute now and there's people standing on the street corner asking for money. And it's like, I used to give money, but now it's like, mm, I know, I know <laughs> you're standing under a help wanted sign on most places. So that kind of 
hurts those people. It's kind of, you know. Now, if you really need help, I think it's no problem, but, mm, yeah, we're still loaded down with that. But I can't believe Hershey's, when we first moved here, and um, it was the place to work. It was premier place to work. The best insurance. They still have the best insurance. Their pay is great. They cannot keep help for candy for nothing. I've done uh, paint parties down in their um, candy kitchen. And that's been before COVID, so it's been probably five years ago, and they couldn't get enough help. It's just insane how much work we have around here. And so we don't even have enough people to run the new Dollar Tree that we just opened. And now we're getting a, a dispensary, medical marijuana me dispensary in a town of 3,000. It's got to employ 25 to 40 people. And we're getting an Arby's. And it's like, I don't know where you guys are going to find workers, but good luck on that one. I mean, I couldn't even go down to the high school. I went, what, a couple of years ago? And I went to the high school um, office and I said, I just need a girl or a boy to do my social media. All they have to do is sit on their phone, do these posts. That's all I need. Not one person applied for the job. And it's like, it's just one or two hours a day. You're sitting on your phone. Just post some social media for me. Not one. It's like, what the heck? That has got to be the easiest job in the world. <sighs> Let's see. I'm going to start my rant, aren't I? I don't know where they all went, but it was even before COVID we were having problems finding people. Oh, Karen, you got eight of them? Yay. Hi, Julie from Australia. Um, Hershey's is not hard for, to work for. Not compared to some of the other places. We got a foundry about five miles from us. And it's a foundry where you walk, you go by, you smell that burning cast iron because that's what they make. Their doors are open. You see the fires. You see the guys walking out of there like they came out of a coal mine. I could see them needing help. But Hershey's, it's, yeah, it's not a hard job. <laughs> you work for Arby's? Yes, yeah, so that they show up. Exactly. But it's not just that. I'd work for chocolate too. Some of the ladies who came to the paint party. You guys know I go down there every October for their Hershey Parade. And they throw out tons of candy. And they make the fresh toffee. And, but all the guys over there are old. I mean, they're all old people. What are we going to do when all the old people are gone? <laughs> Oh, what are we going to do when they're gone? It's like, I, I don't know. But at one time, remember, we, we've got police officer jobs in that paper. We, we've just got them all. We got the, like the plastic company my husband worked for. We have three plastic companies looking for help. Hold on. I got to show you this. And I'm not saying these are minimum wage jobs in an area where it doesn't cost us a lot to live here. I guarantee you, my property that I bought to set this building on was $5,000 for a big lot. It's not like anything is expensive here. Job fair, 2023. Look at that whole list of jobs in our little county that they have three sister logistics which is computer john deere needs help bolens which is a who makes all the big things in town the carpenters union two different carpenters unions the casey police department a plastic company clark county 911 
Avabco, which is a big factory over there that is employee owned. They get amazing quarterly benefits, uh, checks written to them. They've got the federal, the prisons. We've got a prison about 30 miles away. Pays top dollar, almost 50 bucks an hour. They can't get help. The bank needs help. Focus Workforce, Hershey, Horizon Health, which is the hospital, Human Resources Center of Edgar County and Clark County, ID Castings. I don't know what IBEW is, but the local union 725 is looking for help. The Labor's Local 159, Plumbers and Steamfitters Local 157, Marshall Rehab, Mill Creek Aggregates, I don't know what that is, our um, cable company, another plastic company, something pretty in packaging, the Equity, Twin Lakes Rehab, and the Villas of Hart Hollybrook, and Walmart. All those jobs, you guys, in a town that is still the, the majority of people that don't work, that get handouts or whatever they get to live. I don't know how people live when they don't need it. I mean... It's just insane. Can you imagine 10 or 15 years ago? I wouldn't have been doing craft shows. If I could have got any one of those jobs, you know how hard it was to get a union job back in the day? And what I read off, five or six unions looking for help? That is just insane that they can't get help at the unions. I would not have been in crafts. I would have had my husband with a union job at this point. Um, oh, even in Canada? Oh, your son runs John Deere. I mean, there's just so much. See? The, when a union who pays top wages... And from what I hear, they don't have to do a whole lot of things that they're not supposed to do. They can't get help. I mean, isn't that sad that I'd go work at Hershey's. There are a number of the ladies who came to my paint class who worked at um, Hershey's, not really because they even needed the money. They just wanted the benefits, the health insurance and all that that came along with it. Is it, Angela, the mouse is not for sale yet. It is my prototype for a, um, a class I taught in my painting group. So, um, yeah, I was going to have him printed on wood and that's kind of off the tables at the moment because the print company can't even get enough helpers to do the printing. It, it's insane. You can't get anything. Um, uh, thank you, Angela. But some of the ladies inside of Virtual Home Decor Marketplace um, are members of my group, and they may make them. So if you're looking, I'm sure you can get one of them from them. Uh, Virtual Home Decor Marketplace starts tonight at 6.30 p.m. Marianne will drop the link. And all these things that I make back there, that marketplace is full of hand-painted, handmade items. Uh, some of it's home decor that they've purchased and resold, but you will find these are just my latest projects that I've been teaching, so that's why they're up there. In fact, this week in the painting of the month group, look at this. Oh, I, love, I love the eagles. I want to paint him on the back of a jacket now. In fact, that's what I'm going to paint here in just a moment. Because I did an Americana jacket. Now I want to do one with... Um, with um, an eagle. So this is the last jacket that I did. And it's got the flag on it. But now I want to do one kind of similar to this, but put a big eagle on it. I think it'll be really pretty. So I've got a couple of um, my jackets, actually. And then this one. I love this one, the Highland Cow. 
I made her to be a little 80s rock star. She's adorable. So hopefully I get those made into appliques or transfers. Um, yeah, so Karen, things like that are totally different than 20-year-old boys who don't have a job in town. I mean, oh. You know, if our husbands could have got some of those jobs, do you know how fortunate we would have felt? Because you couldn't get a union job a few years back. Ah, oh, thanks, Karen. Hi, Glenda. Thank you. Thank you, Cecile. I love the jackets, too. I want to paint another one. All right, let's paint an eagle over here on this board because I need some items for the marketplace on Monday at noon. We're going to start dropping product now because we have the live sales and everybody's used to turning tuning in on Monday and Friday nights. And now we need to, because um, we have some sellers who never go live. So, and they got some good stuff. If any of you are looking for, you remember, um, oh, it's been around for a while, but we have a new lady over there who is making the memory bears where you send her the shirt or a piece of clothing from somebody who's passed and she can make them into bears and a few other things. So if you're looking for anything like that, cause that's hard to find too. It's kind of like trying to find somebody to make a a quilt out of your kids um, t-shirts and everything it's hard to find people who do that so I imagine once she starts she's going to have a wait list built up in no time I got to see how a oops I follow my picture here otherwise I'll never get it the same And it's not just even around here because I'm trying to get comments sold on the marketplace. I want to be able to sell live so that if I wanted to sell you something, all you have to do is comment the number and it goes through them. They have lost all of their help. My website that hold, holds all my painting tutorials, it's getting bad over there too, getting them to... Um, to fix the problems that go on. So it's not, it's all over, but my husband said the other day, he wished he was 20 years old again. He'd, <laughs> he would take it. All right, that looks good. Um, let's do some watering. I'm just going to pull out one of... Whew, that is not a brush I've ever used before. We're going to try it out. I don't make a lot of signs anymore. That used to be all I made when I did craft shows. We'll see if it works. This is such tough wood to paint on. I really don't want to use my good brushes. And fence board is very hard to paint on because of all the grooves, but I just pulled it out of the wood burn pile. And this is what my husband tells me every time he sees me pull something out. If I would have put that in your shop, you'd have never touched it.
So you know what's bad is our Hershey factory makes the best candy ever. You can go down 30 miles and buy it fresh. Yeah, if, you, if they can't get enough workers in the United States, guess where they're going to go? So, I mean, tough. It's not that people won't buy it. It's that they don't have enough workers to make it. That's not, is that backwards to you guys? I think it is. Hold on. Let me move you around because I think it's backwards. I know it is. And nothing more nauseating than watching something being made backwards. Hi, Donna. Uh, hi, Chrissy. Thank you. Faye, I did not take, well, I'm in, I'm not going to lie. I did take, um, Classes from a lady in 1990. Two of them. Tara, I can't wait to see your eagle. Um, so I did not take art classes, but... I kind of had to do it because I had to give up my job because, well, for one, I was a legal secretary for about 14 years. And then my husband's job transferred us down here so he could install a certain department in a company that ended up going under because they couldn't get enough help. But that's been a while back. Um So I took, I think it was like a four-week course. We made a rabbit and a snowman. So that taught me shading and highlighting. But then um, I just kind of had to learn on my own. I couldn't find, I couldn't afford all the all the fancy things or the books. And I couldn't read the books anyway because it's like it was too daunting of a task to read all those directions. So I just kind of started doing it my way. But we did craft shows full time since 99. So what can I say now? 24 years full time. So when you paint that much full time, You can just say you got it honestly because you just practiced at it. It's nothing that was that I was born with. Let's say that. Now, if I made Hershey's caramel for the past 20 years, I'd be a pretty good expert at it. <laughs> but... It's just something that I like to do. And my daughter hated going to a babysitter. I went back to work when she was three. And for almost a year, it was a struggle getting her the babysitter and all that changed babysitters. And so finally, I just said, heck with it. Quit my job. And a friend of mine who I loved to go and buy from her, she had a small craft shop not too far from me and I'd stop in there and I had really admired what she did and I was like oh man I would love to do that so that was kind of my get started deal and in my craft shows I didn't have, I couldn't paint this and take it to a craft show because it took too many hours but I did a lot of like the eagle here you know, things that did a lot of lettering just because I was faster at it. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Karen. It's just, you know, we're all good at something. I don't want to sit here and say, oh, I'm real, because I am good at what I do. I'm good at painting. But everybody, I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, if you're just starting out painting, I don't want you to compare yourself to me because I've had to do it for a job and income for 25 years. My husband quit his job in um, two years after I started because I started getting busy. And so it was a team effort between me and him. He's been full-time for 22 years with me. And it was just what we did. He cut out all my wood. He set up the shows and... <clears throat> Yeah, I always say he's the one who made my stuff look pretty because I'd just sit here and paint. And then he would go and fix all the, yeah, you know, where I missed things and all of that. So I had a lot of help, but that's about all I can do is paint. I don't cook. I don't bake. I, I don't do anything else. It's just, this is all I do. This is the only talent I was given. Kimberly, hi, how are you? Lori, we used to live in Monticello, is where I was born in North Dakota, but my dad was in the military, so we ended up, my mom's from North Dakota, and so he transplanted her, or took her, took her down here, and so that's where I went to school and everything. Up by champagne. All right. Make this ego look a lot better. So when I did craft shows, I could sell this stuff really easy and a lot cheaper than that just the big eagle thing. So this is what I did. Sometimes, you know, come fall, you had to do back-to-back -back shows. And it was tough keeping up. And I was the first one to complain about China coming in because you know, I was getting $40 for boards that were four feet long. And I had my, my line, my lettering was more calligraphy style with a flat brush. And so I was the one who did all the sit long, talk much, laugh often, live well, laugh often, love much. I was the one who did all of that stuff. Laundry signs. Welcome to our porch. Come sit on our porch. The guys would walk by and say, why would anybody put a sign, come sit on my porch? You know, I don't want nobody coming to sit on my porch. <laughs> oh. The garage sale I went to today, um, the lady still has a sign outside that I made that says, it just says, hi, it's a simple sign. Take that down a little bit. I do not miss craft shows, but I sure miss seeing, I sure feel bad when I watch the pictures of my friends who are selling their trailers because, you know, they're done with them now. We're not doing craft shows anymore. And it's like, oh, that's so sad. During the craft shows, when you got a trailer, you were like, everybody wanted to see your trailer. Everybody wanted to... Uh, you know, it was a big thing to get a pull behind trailer. And my first trailer, I wish to goodness it may still be on a 35 roll somewhere. My husband made our first trailer. And you talk about looking like, um, what did, what's, somebody said it looked like the Flintstones or not the Flintstones. What was it? 
one of those. Anyway, he took this small wagon that you pulled behind the car. He built it up with plywood, put, I don't know what, on the, on the top with this little door on it. How we got so much stuff in there, I don't, I have no clue. But it was the, <laughs> it was crazy. <sighs> it was crazy. But, you know, you may do because... I, I worked awfully hard for my money and I wasn't one to go out and put a lot into um, anything. Because when you did craft shows, you had to save that money to get you through uh, the rest of the year when craft shows weren't so good. Now I got to fix his eye here. wasn't but I can honestly say I've done what I've I've enjoyed my I've enjoyed it most of it I would never do it again but I've enjoyed most of it never would do it again <laughs> Oops, I plucked that off of there. Hold on. The Beverly Hillbillies, the Clampets come into town. That's... <laughs> That was it. It was like, oh my gosh. But you know what? I made a profit. And I didn't care what anything looked like. If I was making a profit, I was happy. I wasn't out there to showboat with nobody. It's like, hmm. Oh, you got that big $20,000 trailer. I'm not willing to sit and paint that much stuff to pay for a trailer like that. So, I'm good. So, we used that trailer for probably four or five years. And I mean, sometimes when you went to a show, you had to sleep in that tra little bitty trailer sometimes because you couldn't afford to go get a motel. I paid my dues. <laughs> so when we got, that was our first trailer. And then we bought one at an auction that was way too big. But we didn't pay much for it either. And so then finally we were able to afford this one. I think we only paid, man, I really don't know how much we paid for it, maybe 2500 Maybe something like that. I really don't know. But I know it was a lot of money at the time. I always say when I retire, I'm going to go get a job at Walmart. That way, although it's probably not that way anymore, I would love for somebody to say, oh, you have the weekend off. Or, wow, it's been eight hours. You get to go home now. I have never had that. So. I never had that. Get some. I think it's great for somebody to tell me. <laughs> Although now they'd be calling you to come in because nobody else showed up. And it probably wouldn't be a good thing now. But Now nobody stays at a job as long as they used to. That's just not a thing anymore. 
worked so hard at the attorney's office that I probably went three or four or five years without a um, vacation at one time, one period. They're just too busy. Got my mess there. All right, let's get him to looking like an eagle now. Well, back, back when we were all younger, you got a job, you stayed with it forever. It's like you never left. Once you got a job, you stayed there. Um, Yeah, we go to Terre Haute a lot. Amy, how's Dave doing? Amy's husband had surgery on Thursday. Oh, if you, we went to Springfield last Friday. The same gas station like we have in town. You guys may have this in the big cities because I, I don't ever get to the big city much, but in the gas station, they have a smart checkout counter. You place your items on this little platform. It gives you the total and you insert the money into the machine. And the cashier who's standing back there, all she's doing is telling you how to do it. And that's at a gas station, you guys. You just put your stuff up there. It scans it somehow all on its own. Don't know how. And I was like, what the heck is this? And she goes, well, all of our gas stations are getting these. So it's coming to your nearest gas station too. But you know what? The gas stations here can't keep help. So We got a new Dollar General. It, it's just horrible how much help they need. And now to be adding in Arby's and... Yeah, nobody can say they can't get a job. That's for darn sure. And our McDonald's, if you're just on the line, it's $15. If you take one of their manager jobs, it's 22 here in town. Okay, let's start making him look like he's got some hair. Bigger, or do I want to go in and make that smaller? I'm going to go in and make that smaller amount. He's not looking like an eagle there very well. Oops. We need to do some layers under there, so it's got something coming out. Okay. Now we can go in with some white. Oh, 
I gotta dry them up a little bit. I know, isn't it crazy how people were at their jobs forever? Um, Ah. Spring Brook Rod and Gun Club. Well, Karen, I'll have to look that up next time we go over there. Oops. <laughs> but it gets me when I open, every time I open a Timu package, why aren't you buying American? And it's like, I would, but where do you buy American at? Because it's not in America. In fact, we live in a town that doesn't even open their restaurants unless you're a fast food. The only place you can get, really get food anytime after two o'clock is the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Those are the only people that are open. We live in a tourist town and it's bad. Oh, I really hate using that brush on this wood. I did get the potato sacks from Timu. I'll show you that in just a minute. I'm getting ready as soon as I get this done and I'm gonna go plant my potatoes in this bag that I got. Not too fun. My husband went and got me some dirt and I am ready to plant. It's like, I love to go and buy the plants and stuff. And then I get home and my husband's like, why do you buy it? Then I have to plant it. He just planted my root barb the other day. <laughs> it's like, it's going to die out there. Can you go water it for me? I got a beautiful little lilac tree. $22, ladies, at our school greenhouse. It is adorable. Adorable, and it's got flowers on it. Let's get this eye because this is the most important part of him, and it looks like I got a little bit of paint there. Sorry, I'm getting my head under there. My daughter's got a big garden to 
put out. She has grown her plants from seedlings. They are beautiful. And her dad keeps saying, it's time to put those in the ground before it rains. Got to get them in there. And she's like, it's not Mother's Day yet. So I think Molly's out there tilling her garden up because they just put dirt on it yesterday. So if her plants die because it gets cold, I told her dad he'll be having to go buy her some new plants. We walk in her house and it's just like, Plants all over the place. So she does need to get them in the ground because they're taking over her house. She has plant light. She's got the whole thing going on. I think she took a picture of them. All right, we're going to put a few feathers around him just to kind of doll him up a little bit. Like that's her right now. They probably need me for something. All right. I loved on that one picture where I added some feathers here. And it's so plain. It needs a little bit of color. So my daughters, when they don't get an answer, they don't call back yet. They'll go and they'll check to see if I'm live. And then they're like, oh my gosh, it'll be two hours. So you may see her pop in the comments and tell me what they need. Pretty sure I got to take them something. My husband's hooked on to the trailer, so it will be something. Oh, I kind of want to pull a little bit more blue up in there. I kind of want to make my wording that same blue. Wow. Let's two-tone the word America. I can get that. I need to play before I get started with my day. I may have to do blue and white. Make it even lighter. And then we'll put some stars around it. It'll be cute. So we'll go with the light blue and white on here. Just do it blue and come back with the white. Forgot how hard it was to get that white on there. Let's just variegate that blue and the white together. It needs to be a light blue. And then I'll come back in with the dark blue and shade it instead of the other way. And then I can even up the edges. But it'll be just a cute little sign. 
So I'll put this up on the marketplace on Monday at noon. So be watching. I'll be jumping on quite a bit this weekend because I, I'm kind of putting off all the things I got to do so that I can have some things to post over on the marketplace this week. So I'm going to North Carolina. I'm going to Damon's Mastermind next week. I'll be gone a week, but be in North Carolina. Oh, gosh darn it. I felt that on my finger too before I put it down. Right on that A. Hi, Diane. Thank you. Kind of into the eagles now. I still got to bring his head back a little bit now that I look at him. Oops. Hi, Mickey. Um, I am using okay Karen I will get a hold of you before I do go and do that uh, ocean reef blue <laughs> but they're pretty they are pretty I love them He's not a true, real eagle, but he needs some color to him. I love when I taught that class. The he almost had red, but um, with the flag behind him, I decided the blue would be a better color choice. He's kind of a fantasy eagle. And you know what? That blue is going to really pop on the back of a denim jacket. Oops. I'm not a real big fan of blue either, but... Usually if I do blue, I love the dark blue. So we'll just give this one more coat and then we'll let it set for a while. Actually, if I was going to make a full size, I've got a screen up there that I'm thinking of doing an eagle on. And if I do that, I'm going to do the top layer of feathers here in blue. But then the ones, as his wing goes down, it's going to be blue. Then they're going to turn into red. And then they're going to have white tips at the bottom. I figured that out the other day. And I have seen some like that, you know, like on different designs. Where they put different colors on them. But I think red, white, and blue going down would be really pretty. I have some more white. I gotta go have my husband fill my bottles. He's back, so they must not have needed me. She probably wants to show me what her garden looks like. Just run a few more. I'll bring his head back a little bit here. Add in some more white. I don't want too many feathers on him because he's supposed to be a bald eagle, you know. So I don't want him to look hairy or anything, but.
I'm kind of thinking for my painting for profits group for next week. Maybe that's what I should do as a big, oh, that's my project for next week. It'll be a big eagle head door hanger. And maybe I can incorporate the feathers being red, white, and blue. For next week, I need a quick project. Put it on. Ah, there he goes. He came to life. That Frosty the Snowman is what I want to sing. I just a little bit. <laughs> Keep wanting to get my head under there. right in here. Separate it a little bit. It's more brown. So I'm going to go over that whole thing all the way down. The eye is the most important thing, the eye and the beak. If you don't get the eye and the beak right, then it's pretty well, not going to turn out. running out of places to wipe my brush. I'm just run that little edge of blue right there. Ah, now he looks much better. Much, much, much better. I still want, I could sit here all day and I got to stop because I could pull it down and start separating, but we're good. Let's see now, since I had to touch the word America, what we can do with that. Need some dark blue. Um, Uh, I used, let me look here just a moment. Finish cross. Oh, I kind of don't want a big cross across my eye. A, eh? um, <laughs> I do. My son is, just turned 43. He lives up by Monticello. And he works for Bear. You know, Bear got bought out by overseas too. Bear, the um, that makes your aspirin. They own a lot of our farmland up there around Monticello. Huge corporation out there. And so he's in the fertilizer department planting. So 
you know, they complain about me buying a something from Timu, but they don't say anything about farmers selling their farmland to China. You know, it's like, mm, I think you got bigger things to worry about than me buying something from Timu. They're doing the same thing up in North Dakota. And the Chinese are buying up all the um, farmland at the Air Force Base around it, trying to get it because that's where our atomic bomb is. And so all my relatives live there and mine it, and they're trying to buy up as much farmland so that they can send their drones from area to area right over your atomic bomb. So kind of feel like mm, I'm pretty good over here just buying a little bit of the so much. Let's shade this up a little bit. I don't even know where I put that blue now. Now I get, just got black. Since I've got my A up so high, I will go over, go over it again, but I don't think I want to really push it out there very much. Shadow that up a little bit is all we're going to do. And then we're going to go back with a little white. We are going to... so much for a 10 minute sign, huh? Um, okay, Karen, bye. I know. It's like... You know, they're sitting here talking about TikTok and what we order on Timu while they're buying up our farmland directly over our atomic bomb. I mean, it's like, what the heck? Or the Panama Canal, you know, they're buying it. Pretty soon you, you're not going to even get, be able to get your imports. But anyway, I won't get political, but just kind of odd that I get all the... Uh, Buy from, buy from America. Mm, we don't have much. So relatives up there are not happy about it whatsoever because... <laughs> They know how crucial that is, and they're right. You know, bombs pointed at them. They got a bomb. They're not too happy. Okay, we got it. Um, but I buried all my blue here. Hold on, I got to find it because I don't want to squirt out anymore. Uh, we, we need one more thing. This is why I could never go back to craft shows. I have lost my touch for making things quickly and just getting them out the door. I no longer have that ability. You know, oh, that kind of aggravates me about myself. I just, man, those eight, they were four foot signs. I could make eight of them per hour. They were made on one by sixes. They were four foot long, eight in an hour at 40 bucks a piece. That was $320 an hour. And I would sit there, especially before our covered bridge show over there in Terre Haute, which was 10 days long. I would work eight to 10 hours making those. If anybody was aggravated at China, it was me because soon 
after that, I had an amazing market. And then they started making my signs similar. Then I ended up working for that company. And yeah, now you can't sell a $40 sign like that anywhere. Isn't it funny though, guys, I don't know if you guys ever saw it, but on, uh, on a real TikTok, I don't know what it was on, but somebody showed a picture of a grave and I'm sure they photocropped it, but it, it reminded me of the nineties. It said she lived well, she laughed often and she loved much. <laughs> That would be me. I painted those same things over so many times, but they were so quick and such a good money maker that. <laughs> How many of you still have your live well, laugh often, love much signs? Because I know some of you do. I always say that and somebody's like, oh, I still got that hanging in my house. Sit long, talk much, laugh often. Come sit on my porch with me. Get naked or laundry today or laundry today, naked tomorrow. My kids hated that saying. They thought it was the corniest thing, but people would walk by and laugh and carry on. Oh, so and so, come over here and look at this sign. And you know, by that time, I was over it too. Oh, look at this sign. We don't skinny dip. We chunky dunk. Oh, 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 oh. Paul, come over here. Hurry, hurry. Look at this sign. We don't skinny dip. We chunky dunk. <laughs> it was amazing the things we sat through at craft shows. Or, or, oh my gosh, my husband one time, you guys got to hear this one. I used to do dog signs for dogs that passed. My husband finally said, don't ever leave me in a booth because especially at this big one, one of us would work, one of us would go home and paint or cut. And I had some fresh new signs. It said, do you, oh, I don't even remember. Do you have dogs in heaven, Lord? Do you allow dogs in heaven? Hold on, I'm going to turn you around. All right. Do you allow dogs in heaven? Because if you do, my little doggy died today and soon he'll be knocking at your door. Oh my gosh, I would cry just painting those. But the ladies in the booth, and these were on a little printed so I could make them really quick. They would just start crying and they'd want to tell my husband about their dog. After, after a couple of them, my husband gathered them up and said, don't you ever put these in a booth and leave me again. <laughs> because I could get, I could cry just, re just saying it now. Um, I don't remember how it, how it actually went, but anyway, it was a tearjerker or just any general signs about your dog or I would personalize them with their names and they would just cry and cry and you know my husband would be like I can't take that you can't do that to me <laughs> so oh uh, you never did any live well laughed often yeah that's what I said to one lady she was just mad as could be I only buy American made I am pretty sure that if you go to the grocery store or you go to Walmart, maybe you better check your tags because I'm pretty sure you're not buying all American made. It's kind of like, you know, when you go to a craft show and people will say, I only buy hand painted. Mm, I'm pretty sure that's not true. I'm pretty sure you've got something from Hobby Lobby on your wall. Yeah, I only buy hand painted. Mm, I don't believe that one either. So anyway... Don't ever stick a man in your booth and make signs that make people cry because, the, you know, when it comes to our pets, we want to sit there and let everybody know. I know I would do the same things. 
So it it was funny. He was so mad that <laughs> it happened, but yeah, it's a, it's a horrible thing. So, all right, ladies, this is our sign for today. This will go up on um on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace on Monday at noon. I will be back more this weekend so that I have something for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to get them out in the mail. Better not. Fresh greens will be fresh instead. <laughs> Your fresh green beans are too. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. Hi, Barbara. I know. It's like, I don't think you can eat either. All right. Thanks, Cecile. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.